Good morning, viewers. Uh, today we are going to see the conversion of orthographic V to isometric V. So now the, the given diagrams that is the one is a front view and top view. The front view is above and the top view is below. So this is given in the first angle method of projection. So likewise, first of all you have to make it a clarify of the given dimensions that is what is the length of the diagram and what is the height of the diagram and what is the width of the diagram. Okay. So in this uh, we have to check out what is the length. So here in the front view there is no length is given and in the top view the length is given. Okay. So here already we have discussed in the previous videos that in front view uh, we have length and height is given and in the top view uh, length and width is given. So here the length of this diagram is the 56 and width of the diagram is 32 and the length will be same here the 56 is reflected and the height of the picture is 20 and you can see a base plate of height 8 mm and all the dimensions are given in mm only. Okay, so right here you can see two blocks one is the left hand side and another is left right hand side of the base plate. So this is the total base plate in which base plate two projections are there above the base plate two blocks here with a width of 8 mm and a height of 12 mm right because the total height is 20 you can minus it the base plate of 8 such that it will be having a 12 mm of height. So this one is around 12 mm okay. So like that you have to project the three dimensional view as an isometric view. Now let us start from the you can take any one of the points. So now let us take consider this as a point O. So this is now it has point O. So now from this point O I have to construct the first the base plate. So what is the base plate length and the width? The base plate length is about 56 and the width is 32. So now now I am taking towards the right hand side as a front view. So now consider the right as x. Then now I will take the length as 56 mm and the height at 8 mm. So first let me consider the height mm. So 8 mm I will take 8 mm point from 0 to 8 and I will draw a line here. Okay. And now I will take the length of the diagram is 56. So now simply I will put 56 here and I will draw a line. Okay. So after constructing the line of 56, once again I will take the height of that one. And now presently I am constructing the height. So now from this point, so this is this one. And this point is nothing but this one. So at this point you can see what is the height here. The height is about 20 mm. So now from this point I will take 20 mm height. So you see I am taking 20 mm. So directly I am drawing a dark lines. But uh, when you are going in practice you first of all you make all the lines. All the lines what you construct in the isometric view in a light, light lines or construction lines. And after confirmation of the final figure, you make it dark. So now what is the width of this one? The width of this one is 16. So here it is given as 16 and thickness is 8. So now I will make a, a 16 mm line. So 16, 1, 6. So here I am putting 16 and I am drawing 16 mm line. And what is the width of this one? Is 8 mm. So now I will take the left hand side as this one, okay, imagine and I uh, will consider it for 8 mm. So take 8 and from this point is also 8. Now totally I will join these two lines. So up till now I have drawn this particular portion here, okay. and here. So now I have to draw this 12 mm height. So what I will do is simply I will make it with a reference line and I will draw a 12 mm height. 
okay, up to this point. So now, if you con connect these two lines, these, this line should be parallel to this line. So now you check it just by taking your drafter scale to this parallel line. And if you check it, just simply it is going to connect these two lines. So now I can say that this is a perfect alignment. Okay. Now at this point, it is over. Now let us go to this section. That is this side. Okay. What is the total length here? What is the total width? The total width is given as 32. So now on the left hand side, I will take 32. The bottom line, 32 mm. So this is 32 and I will draw it as a dark line. And after going to 32, what is the height? So now this point. So what is the height? The height is about 20 mm. So once again, I will take a 20 mm height. Okay. Now after going to 20 mm height, what is the width of this web? which is placed on the base plate. So this is the width is uh, 8 mm and the length is 16 mm. So from this point, once again, likewise, what I have constructed here, I have to construct at this place. So it is a length of 16 mm. So that simply I'll take 16 mm from this point. I'll draw a line. Okay. After taking that length, the width is about uh, 8 mm. So I'll construct an 8 mm line from this point as well as this particular point. After taking these 8 mm lines, once again I have to take the length and I have to confirm these two lines, joining these two lines. Okay, now it is over. So now I have constructed this billet. Okay. After that, I have to come down. So. Once again, taking this height as a reference with the 12 mm because already the total height is 20 and this thickness of the plate is 8. So now I will construct a 12 mm line. So after constructing 12 mm line, taking to the left hand side of this one, simply I will join this plate. So now you got a construction line. Okay. After that, taking a height as a reference. So put the scale to the x, y and whatever the height which is given here 12 mm, samely just you have to put it here and you draw a line from this particular point and also this particular point. So such that this block is continued up to the baseline. So then by taking the left hand side of the scale, you connect these two lines. Okay, and next by taking to the length, uh, simply you can connect these two lines. So now here, two blocks, here the two blocks are constructed, but what happened? So other portion should be drawn here. Okay, so how to draw the other portion? So here you know this is the base plate height. So you can see only the upper, upper layer of the base plate not the below layer of the base plate. So how to construct? So simply what you do is you extend the line very lightly or just you put a mark here. Okay. You put a mark here and take to the left hand side by taking this mark as a reference. Okay. This mark as a, this point as a reference and slightly first draw a light line. Okay, I think uh, it is not, it may not be visible for you, but uh, try to understand. Okay, and next, uh, taking height as 8 mm on the left hand side here, 8 mm, put a point, little light, very light point for your reference only and uh, take the length as a reference. Okay, length means right hand side. So, now try to draw the line from this particular line. Okay. Because whatever the base plate which is there, it is not visible because of this particular edge. Okay. Now, just you make dark these two lines. Okay. Now, I am completing the dark lines here. I think it is visible for you. Okay. And now, just you complete 
this one. So now here you can view this picture that is two webs which is placed on the base plate. And centrally you can see here in the top view there is a rectangle and in the front view you can see the dotted lines. That means that a hole is centrally drilled inside the base plate. Okay. So for the construction of the hole centrally what you have to do? You have to locate the midpoints of the length as well as the width. So what is the total length? The total length is 56. That means half of that one. So that is 28. So you put a point in 28. Okay. And what is the thickness here? 32. 32 means that is 16. Okay. From this point, this line, you take 16 as a reference point. Okay. And now from this point, you draw a line, light line, very light line. And from this point, from this point, you draw a light line. So to construct, this is, these are the construction lines. So now what is the total length of this one? The length of the hole which is drilled is 16 mm. Okay, 16 mm, right? And what is the width here? 12 mm. So how can you confirm that the hole is centrally drilled? So here you can estimate the starting point of this one is 20 mm and here this is 16 mm and once again this is 20 mm. The width between these two points is 20. 20 plus 20, 40 plus 16, 56 that is 56. Here this is 10 and right hand side 10 and this one is 12. So 10 plus 10, 20 plus 10, 12, 32. So this is 32. That's why I confirmed it as the hole is centrally drilled. So we have to thoroughly read the dimensions, how it is placed and where it is placed. So now I will construct a length of 16 mm with the 12 mm width. So first what I will take is I will take the width as a reference. Okay. So now I will fix the scale to this one. First with the centrally lined, I will take 12 mm. 12 mm means the center point is 6 and 6. So I will put these two points here. After taking these two points with the length as a reference or putting the scale parallel to the length, I will draw this 16 mm. So 16 means I will take, I should take to the left hand side 8 and right hand side 8. So this is 16 mm line and I am directly dark drawing the dark line. So here also draw the 16 mm line. Now with the reference to the width of this one, I am going to complete the centrally drilled hole. After centrally drilling, this is the top of the top of the base plate. And what about the bottom base plate? So whether we are going to visualize the deep cut, whether the cut is there or not. So first, so at this side, suppose if you draw this line, it is not visible because of the base plate. So check the opposite side of that one. So what is the height of this one is 8. So now put 8 mm as a reference dimension and draw a line. Okay. So now this is the point that is visible. And to the width as a reference, simply I will take it and draw a line. It may come on the central line or may not be. Don't take it as a reference. And uh, to this one, to the right hand side, so I am going to take this line as a reference, that is length as a reference and I am going to draw this line. So now you can visualize that a centrally drilled hole is having a top surface and this is a bottom surface. Okay. So now you can see the total picture here. Okay. Suppose now if you want to give the dimension, so how you are going to give the dimension? What is the thickness and what is the weight? What is the height and all this thing? So here I can give the height okay you can draw the dimension line here by taking the reference and you can uh, put two arrow heads and you can write the dimension like this 20 okay this is the height and now suppose if you want to take the width so whatever the length of this uh, thickness so simply you extend these two lines and uh, uh, draw a length of this line for the dimension line with reference to this one and 
give the two arrow heads here and put it as a 16 because here it is a 16 mm line. So for centrally drilled hole you can extend here inside it and you can give the dimensioning. As a part of dimensioning all the or this picture you can view the previous videos how you are going to give the dimension for an isometric view.